Welcome to the Hollywood Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today we have an update to the story a week after my honeymoon found out my wife had been cheating on me. Let's get started. She showed up to the trip so we could use it as an opportunity to fix things. I talked to her for less than 30 seconds saying I was not interested and would not do any work to fix something I didn't break. She stayed there for three days and didn't bother me at all and did her own activities on her own. Good. You made it clear and concise boundaries and told her to take a long walk off a short pier. After my bro and I came back home, other suspicions of mine were confirmed. Not that it changed my decision or made me more sure, but the explanations, the family dynamics I was exposed to when her side pressured me for reconciliation. Oh, do tell. Before we got married and started becoming serious, she had told me that she had a miscarriage before. I hadn't asked her for this information, but as it affected the chances of us having kids in the future, she wanted to let me know ahead of time I appreciated that. She, however, lied who the father was and made up a name. The affair partner being the father is known by her mom, siblings, some cousins, and an uncle of hers. But this information was hidden from her father. He was told the same classmate thing like me. Wow. So grasp this, guys. That is why I say you need to vet her family, too. By their actions, the women in this family think it's okay to lie, cheat, and manipulate. To ensure her dad wouldn't know it was the affair partner, her mom approached the affair partner's family and basically asked them to go back to normal and act like the affair partner wasn't the dad and that they didn't know. Okay, that sounded a little convoluted, but I get the concept. She did this because her husband was starting to ask why they disappeared suddenly and missed holidays, etc. Also, her dad didn't even know they were in the relationship together either. Had he known, he would not, have, he would not want to have him around his daughter from that point on, which is what fathers traditionally did in part of the vetting process, which we now have eliminated from Western culture. Oh, look what's happened. Which was the initial reaction from the people who knew this too. But for some reason, they had a change of mind. Okay, a family of lies and deceit. This is why you have to literally search her past and family history, guys. Is this the kind of family you want to marry into? Now, he doesn't edit here. Edit. For completeness, as I mentioned in my reply, when the divorce day happened, this was one question I had asked and that she denied and told me back then who the real father was already. She made a mistake, though, and said an actual ex's name that day instead of the made-up classmate's name she had given me years ago, hence where the suspicion arose. After getting more information and evidence, she admitted it was, in fact, AP and told me who knew and who didn't. Only those who knew were the ones pressuring me for reconciliation. The same day, her mom talked to me one-on-one -on -one 
and gave her usual speech of how she thought what they had in the past was just young love and how she never suspected anything. Came telling me it was a classmate. I didn't ask for the identity of the father. Slap to the back of the head. Guys, if you are going to be serious about a woman, you need to investigate her past. The fact some other guy knocked her up means there is a story there and it behooves you to use all means necessary to get the story. You need to determine if you are her first choice or the consolation prize until the bad boy comes back into, into town, be it a day or 10 years later. Never be some woman's placeholder. It's bad enough that for the majority of men, unless you do your homework and make good choices, she will never be yours. It was just your turn. Anyways, it was the affair partner and it happened a year after he had dumped her. The affair partner's family and hers were very close and the conservativeness of our culture was a big deal. He denied being the dad and offered no support to her while she was going through clinical procedures. This is how Chad, Tyrone, or Raj operate. Yet, these women chase after them and become alpha widows and eventually settle for the nice guy provider, that's usually you, to use his resources to give them a lifestyle. This is why you must vet your girl and if you find out negative things, you must have the strength to walk. You will not be the exception to this life rule. You can't turn a garden tool into a housewife. The affair partner being the father is known by her mom, siblings, some cousins, and an uncle of hers, but this information was hidden from her father. He was told the same classmate thing like me. Wow. So grasp this, guys. That is why I say you need to vet her family, too. By their actions, the women in this family think it's okay to lie, cheat, and manipulate. To ensure her dad wouldn't know it was the affair partner, her mom approached the affair partner's family and basically asked them to go back to normal and act like the affair partner wasn't the dad and that they didn't know. Okay, that sounded a little convoluted, but I get the concept. She did this because her husband was starting to ask why they disappeared suddenly and missed holidays, etc. Also, her dad didn't even know they were in the relationship together either. Had he known, he would not, have, he would not want to have him around his daughter from that point on, which is what fathers traditionally did in part of the vetting process, which we now have eliminated from Western culture. Oh, look what's happened. Which was the initial reaction from the people who knew this too. But for some reason, they had a change of mind. Okay, a family of lies and deceit. This is why you have to literally search her past and family history, guys. Is this the kind of family you want to marry into? Now, he doesn't edit here. Edit. For completeness, as I mentioned in my reply, when the divorce day happened, this was one question I had asked and that she denied and told me back then who the real father was already. She made a mistake, though, and said an actual ex's name that day instead of the made-up classmate's name she had given me years ago. Hence, where the suspicion arose. After getting more information and evidence, 
she admitted it was, in fact, AP and told me who knew and who didn't. Only those who knew were the ones pressuring me for reconciliation. The same day, her mom talked to me one-on-one -on -one and gave her usual speech of how she thought what they had in the past was just young love and how she never suspected anything. She said how AP is doing the devil's work because the devil is jealous of holy matrimony and how she believes her daughter to be strong and he misled her. She didn't know I had the full picture and her involvement. I finally told her I knew and asked her why she kept AP around, why she decided to hide this from her husband, and that her daughter also actively hid it from me. This poor guy. In a way, he's gotten lucky since he's now free of her and her whole deceitful clan. Hopefully, he can take these life lessons and carry them to the next relationship and learn about what I tell you guys to do about vetting her, her family, family values and value systems. This is why I say vet her, pay attention to the family, the family's value systems, her parents' relationship, and her mom, because that is who she's going to turn into. This is the foundation of her model of the world of how to conduct a relationship or marriage. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from my channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for stopping by and watching this long. And I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at Magic's Monologue. This way, others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, Send the whole story and the link, just in case it's not there by the time I get to it. Email it to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victory to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, subscribe to my Locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, then give them a thumbs up a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos with more people and this support helps me make more content for you.